What's up, YouTube? This is PZZSCN here, and I am incredibly excited because I've got a new Zippo video for you guys. This is actually my first Zippo of 2016. It is currently April the 16th, 2016. How about that? And uh, yeah, this is the first one I've gotten this year. I'm kind of slacking off a little tiny bit this year. But anyways, I'm very excited because it's been a very long time since I've gotten a new Zippo. I actually got this one. When did I actually receive this? I think I received this last two Mondays ago. So yeah, two Mondays ago, I believe is when I received this. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's not that exciting in terms of like design or it's not like some fancy armor model, but it is exciting to me. It's one that I've been wanting. Let's go ahead and let's check it out. So as you can see, it is actually in a white sleeve. This is going to be a replica of some kind because generally the fancy replica boxes come in these white sleeves for some reason. And there's your model number. We have got number 28582, Rep Black Crackle. I'm not, oh, you know what rep means? That means replica. Yeah, I was about to say I don't know what that means, but duh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's in this nice little white sleeve as they tend to come in the mail. If you get it from the store, you won't get a white sleeve, but if you order one of these online, you, you get the white sleeve. So let's take it off. Boom, there it is, as ever. The uh, 1941 replica box. A week's trial, then all the while. I really do not know what the significance of that state saying is, but I do like it. It's got a nice ring to it. And the back, it just tells us again, we got the rep black crackle. Let's go ahead and check it out. Boom. Very nice. There it is. Very, very, it's just, that's what it is. It's a black crackle 1941. It's not particularly fancy. It's just, it is what it is. So here it is, as you can see, black crackle. Get a good close of that texture. It's got, it's a little bit dirty. I have actually been using this one for a little while. And uh, you, there's a little bit of wear, it looks like, going on right there. That's interesting, kind of a radial, a radial thing. Do you see that right? I, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. What an interesting mark. Is that happening anywhere else? Yeah, right there. Huh, this is going to be an, I'm going to have to do a video showcasing a new versus used black crackle after I use this one for a good bit. Um, I haven't used it in a couple weeks, though, even though I just got it. I actually started carrying my black matte one. But it is, I did fill it for the sake of this video. I filled it very little. I uh, just gave it a quick spritz of fluid in there so I can light it and show it to you guys. I did already obviously take the sticker off. It did not come with a price tag. Uh, I bought this for about 13 bucks on Amazon, so it's really, you cannot go wrong. If you want to get a 1941 replica to carry around, you really cannot go wrong with this one on Amazon. Again, 14 bucks I think is what I paid, plus tax. You see, I, I really did not fill it up that much. So there you go, uh, plus tax, and uh, depending on where you live, I think there might be a couple states that don't actually tax on Amazon, I'm not sure. But there you go, that is that is it. So let's take a look at some of these things, like the, uh, the date code. You can see I absolutely love what Zippo does with their bottom stamps on these black crackles. It looks kinda, it just looks like raw, unfinished, unbuffered, un polished it just looks like how do i say it like it just looks like industrial it came right off the it just came right off the machine and they didn't really i don't there's a word that i i don't know what it is but you can see it it looks it does look kind of nice it just looks you know rustic i i don't think that's the right word but yeah anyway you can see right there it was made in january of this year zippa manufacturing code bradford pennsylvania as far as I can tell, the bottom stamps are, well, this is what the 1941 replica bottom stamp looks like. So in terms of like their regular bottom stamps, I don't know if they're any different this year or not, but there you go. And the inset, you can see this is the 1941 insert because it's missing a hole. And in fact, I like to think that the hole is just migrated from here to where the flint wheel, to where the flint wheel is because there is actually a hole there. Normally there isn't on the current ones. The inset was made in... December, no, is that, that's not December, that's November, pardon me. The insert was made in November of last year, 2015. How do you like that? Last year, 2015 is now last year. That's that's kind of interesting. Although by now I've actually gotten quite used to it because it's been 2016 for quite a while now, believe it or not. And um, yeah, there you go. Very nice, nice sound to it, as you can hear. Let's see. 
it's kind of you got it. There's like a way to it, if you can get the lid to hit the body, it just sound it just kind of completes it. But it's kind of hard to do. Let's do it like on the table. Nope. Here, let me hold it like this so it's less obscuring. There you go. Nice 1941 sound. The 1941s do hit the the body just due to the way that, that the design works because it is actually flat on the side, on either side. So those of you who have never seen them, versus a modern one, which I don't actually have on me. I probably should have grabbed one. Uh, versus the modern ones, which are rounded on the sides. We do have the rounded top and uh, a, a flat, uncanned bottom. So when you set this down, it it's a little bit more unstable. <laughs> of course, it's a very terrible demo. Um, uh, but it, it, you know, it is, it might be a little bit more prone to, you know, falling over or something versus a modern Zippo with that canned bottom. So yeah, basically the canned bottom for those of you who don't know is, uh, if you look on the bottom of a, of a modern looking Zippo, it's, it should be, uh, pressed inwards a bit. The, the bottom stamps re re recessed, <clears throat> the bottom stamp is recessed a little bit. So there we go, guys, that I do believe is going to do it. And, uh, real quick, before we go ahead and end off this video, I'd like to show you my collection. I've got a nice little collection of these 1941s now. I believe you're officially a collector of something when you have at least three of a particular item. And now that I have three 1941 replicas, oops, <laughs> I guess I am now a 1941 replica collector. So we got here the basic brushed chrome, as you can see. Again, this one, nice sound to it as well. And uh, we also have my 1941 replica Zippo Facebook exclusive right in the middle, number 125 of 250. Check it out. It is still sealed. And uh, it's more likely going to remain sealed now because I have this one and uh, I have been wanting to see, you know, play with this one since it is like black crackle, but. Now I got this one, it's kind of the same thing. So yeah, now it's even more likely to remain, you know, sealed up like that. Why did my phone just skip a frame? Should not do that. I've got it on airplane mode. Hopefully I didn't like, anyway, who cares guys? That is going to do it for this video. It's getting a little bit on the long side. Um, I do want to get some more of these. I want to get the brass 1941 replica. I don't particularly want the black ice 1941 replica. I just, it doesn't really, interest me that much right now but I definitely want that brass one and that one that said that's got like the Zippo in the old font I'd honestly I don't know why that one or this one didn't make it on my wish list they both really should have actually I think it did I need to go back and review that wish list video because I I genuinely do not remember what I put on there <laughs> I need to go on and actually like write down what I put on there and uh, we will go from there guys so yeah, if you guys want to see any particular Zippos, make sure you let me know in a comment down below. I think that's going to be part of how I do this. I haven't actually gone through and picked out like another two Zippos to add on to that wish list. Because honestly, I don't really know how to go about doing that. I just, just haven't had the time or don't, again, don't really know how to do that. But if you want me to show off a particular Zippo, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And if I like it enough, I might just do it. So you never know. So guys, thank you so much very much for watching this video and now that I made it I can officially say it's in my collection that's just how I work so now I'm gonna take a nice picture of it and upload it to my Pinterest account so thank you guys so very much for watching get in center even though it's the end of the video and adios